There's a writer named Neil Gaiman, um, and he gave a speech about a year ago uh, at an art school in Philadelphia, and it, and it became uh, known as the Make Good Art Speech. Um, has anybody seen this? There's a person that's seen it. it um, I totally recommend that you see it. It's terrific, and it's on YouTube and very easy to find. Neil Gaiman, Make Good Art. Um, and it went viral and has a zillion views. And then he came to me and he said, um, I want you to make it into a book. And first of all, it's only an 18 minute speech. Um, so, you know, how do you make that into quote, a substantial book? Um, but also it, it sort of spoke to me to, as, a, as a typographical uh, problem. And also um, something that I think we all share is, is the, the, the need to make books into objects that you want to own. So um, my, it, was, it was almost like a type 101 uh, uh, problem of uh, make the type look like what it says it's doing. So you open it up and it tells you what the book uh, is based on and where it came from. And for the opening says, this book is for anybody who is looking around and thinking, uh, now what? Uh, it's the make good art speech. Okay, first of all, when you start out on a career in the arts, you have no idea what you are doing. This is great. People who know what they are doing know the rules and know what is possible and impossible. You do not. And you should not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them, and you can. If you don't know it's impossible, it's easier to do. And because nobody's done it before, they haven't made up rules to stop anyone doing that again, yet. <laughs> Secondly, if you have an idea of what you want to make, what you were put here to do, then just go and do that. I skip thirdly. Fourthly, um, I hope you'll make mistakes. If you're making mistakes, it means you're out there doing something and the mistakes in and of themselves can be useful. I once misspelled Caroline in a letter transposing the A and the O and I thought, Coraline, that sounds like a, like a, like a real name, which then of course became Coraline, the book and the movie and the uh, stage show. Um, this is hysterical. Um, these are the three great qualities of any uh, freelancer in the creative field. Uh, number one, their work is good. Uh, number two, they are easy to get along with. And number three, they deliver the work on time. But the, the great thing is, you don't even need all three. Two out of three is fine. <laughs> People will tolerate how unpleasant you are if your work is good and you deliver it on time. They'll forgive the lateness of the work if it's good and if they like you. And you don't have to be as good as the others if you're on time and it's always a pleasure to hear from you. <laughs> YouTube in the web and whatever comes after YouTube in the web can give you more people watching than television ever did. The old rules are crumbling and nobody knows what the new rules are. So make up your own rules. And at the end, it uh, just says, and now go and make interesting, amazing, glorious, fantastic mistakes.